story for an investigative reporter. There are all these allegations, there's a lot of confusion, there are charges flying back and forth, and the government seems paralyzed and unable to do anything. Uh, so, what else is there but uh, an opportunity for an investigative reporter to go in and try to find out what really happens there? Not to mention pots of money for the church within the Yeah, movement. well, they've got plenty. And, uh, more than a billion dollars in, in cash reserves, according to ex-members, mostly in offshore accounts. So they're very well fortified. They may not have very many members. They've got lots and lots of properties. But what they really have is a lot of money and a whole lot of lawyers. Well, you said the government's paralyzed, and it's been, of course, hugely important to Scientology to have a tax exemption as a religious oh, yeah. organization, which was granted in a somewhat unorthodox way by the IRS some years ago. Why is the government to this day paralyzed? Because for a while there, they were they were after Scientology, hammer and tong, and Scientology was infiltrating, literally infiltrating the government, and L. Ron Hubbard's wife went to prison for that. Yes, uh, what happened was the church campaign vigorously for a tax exemption, which would give them the vast protections of the First Amendment guarantees of freedom of religion. And in the process of that campaign, they launched more than 2,400 lawsuits against the IRS and individual members of that agency, completely crippling uh, the effectiveness of the IRS. It was this is astonishing to think about uh, you know, one rather small organization having that kind of uh, effect on an American agency. And part of the deal that was worked out in 1993 was that those suits would be dropped, and they were. And the government recognized Scientology as a religion, and as a consequence, many of the practices that seem so alarming and even illegal to many Americans are actually protected by the First Amendment, and have been noted so by courts. So Scientology is as I said, surrounded by lawyers, very carefully controlled in that way, and has lots of money to defend itself. And of course, the tax exemption spared Scientology from paying an enormous bill. Yeah, they owed a billion dollars that they didn't have at the time. It would have gone out of business. But thanks to that tax exemption, uh, Scientology continues. You reached out to the representatives for Travolta and another of Scientology's biggest stars, Tom Cruise. Each declined to comment. Up after a short break, how Scientology treats celebrities and the very different treatment of those who dedicate their lives to serving the church. To comment about today's show, go to kcrw.com slash the business. And you're listening to the business with Kim Masters on KCRW. KCRW sponsors include Sony Pictures Classics, presenting Blue Jasmine, written and directed by Woody Allen, starring Kate Blanchett, Sally Hawkins, Bobby Cannavale, Andrew Dice Clay, and Louis C.K., now playing. Coming up at the top of the hour, it's All Things Considered, headlines from NPR, as well as local news and traffic beginning at 3. The business continues on KCRW and KCRW.com. NPR News for Southern California, including Greater Palm Springs, at 89.3. I'm Kim Masters, and this is The Business. We're talking with Pulitzer Prize-winning author Lawrence Wright. His book, Going Clear, Scientology, Hollywood, and the Prison of Belief, is now out in paperback. No doubt the biggest star in the Scientology firmament is Tom Cruise, whose devotion to the teachings of L. Ron Hubbard can be seen in a video posted online in 2008. The biggest Scientologist, he drives past an accident. It's not like anyone else. She drives past. The church has publicly denounced Wright's book and sent a statement to KCRW to that effect. You can read the letter at kcrw.com slash the business. In his book, Lawrence Wright says David Miscavige, head of Scientology, lives a lot. The opposite